everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a barely there natural makeup look using only affordable high street drugstore products. Now I've titled this for school and for work as well because I know a lot of my viewers aren't at school anymore. My secondary school was so, so strict on makeup. We were not allowed to wear any makeup at all. But of course we all tried to get away with as much makeup as possible. And then also when I worked at Hollister, they had a really, really strict dress and appearance code. And that again was supposed to be literally no makeup so we all used to wear really minimal makeup and try and make ourselves look as pretty as we could but still looking like we weren't really wearing anything so that's the look that I'm going to create today using all affordable products that you can get from Boots, Superdrug, High Street. So let's get started. So I'm going to start off by using my favourite drugstore primer and that's the L'Oreal Lumi Magique Pure Light Primer Base and I literally use this primer every time I do a high street affordable makeup look because I just love it so much. As you all know I'm obsessed with my Becca Backlight Priming Fields because of the glowy luminous base it gives you and this primer gives you the same effect but obviously for a lot less money. <laughs> then I'm taking another L'Oreal product which again is one of my favourite drugstore high street products and it's the L'Oreal Nude Magic Cushion Foundation and the reason that I've chosen this foundation I've showed it in a couple of videos already but it's because it is literally like skin it's so so natural it just doesn't look like you have any product on your face at all which is obviously great if you're not really supposed to be wearing makeup it's actually amazing because it has a really good coverage but it's so so light you feel like you're wearing nothing you look like you're wearing nothing it just looks like your skin it just makes your skin look perfect and it's really dewy as well then I'm just going to be taking the bourgeois blur the lines concealer this is one of their new ones and I really like this just because it's really really creamy really blendable um, and it covers up really well it has a really good coverage and I'm just blending this out with the same brush that I used for my foundation which is the Zoeva 103 defined buffer brush this is a really really nice brush next we're going to do a slight bit of contouring and this is going to be really subtle because we don't want to look all made up and contoured but it's just going to give a bit of structure to the face and I'm going to be taking another one of my favourite products which is the Rimmel Kate Moss Sculpting Palette and this is in the shade Golden Bronze. I love this contour shade because it's just really cool toned and it really just looks like a shadow on your face. It doesn't look orange or makeup-y at all. You're just taking a little bit of this just along my cheekbones and blending it in to make it look like it's not really there. <laughs> And I'm just going to brush some around my temple area and my forehead. And this really doesn't do too much except to make your face look three-dimensional again. Because when you put on your foundation and concealer, your face does look quite flat. So this just gives it a bit more shape and definition. And obviously just puts a bit of colour into your face as well. Next, I'm taking this cute little bourgeois blush in the shade 42 Rose Blossom. It's just a really classic rosy pink. It has a touch of shimmer in. And it's very, very pigmented. So you only need the tiniest little amount. I'm just going to apply this onto the apples of my cheeks just for a really subtle blushy glow. And just make sure you really blend this out to make it look nice and natural and just like it was a bit cold outside so your cheeks went pink. Next of course it's time for highlighter, my favourite part of makeup. And highlighter can be quite a tricky one to get away with. I think the best one to go with is a liquid highlighter because powder highlighters can look a bit too made up and also cream highlighters. So the one that I'm going for is the Rimmel Good To Glow highlighter in the shade Notting Hill Glow. And there are actually loads of really really good liquid highlighters in the drugstore at the moment. I want to mention the Soap and Glory uh, Hocus Focus liquid highlighter is amazing. The reason I didn't use it is because I've done a makeup tutorial similar to this last year and that's the one I used so I thought I'd use something different. Also the new L'Oreal sculpting highlighters are amazing. I'm just going to apply a tiny little drop of that to my fingers and just pat this along the top of my cheekbones and my brow bone and just pop some on the tip of my nose as well. My lips. This isn't particularly noticeable, but it's just going to give your face a really subtle glow, like when you turn your head to the light and the light catches your cheekbones, it's just going to sparkle a little bit and look really, really pretty. Next, just to perfectly blend everything together, finish it off and also set the makeup so it's going to last all day, I'm going to use the number 7 Translucent Perfect Light Loose Powder, and this is just another product that I have used so much and I really, really like. I'm actually running out of this, so I need to get a new one. I'm going to especially focus 
on the eye area to make sure that the concealer doesn't crease. And you know, if you wanted to do a little highlight top up after your powder, I'm not gonna judge you. Now we are at the eyebrow stage and I'm gonna be taking the Soap & Glory Archery 2-in-1 Brow Filling Pencil and Brush. And I think Soap & Glory are probably your go-to brand for eyebrows in high street drugstore prices, even though they are a bit more expensive than say L'Oreal and Rimmel, their brow products are super, super good. So I'm just gonna brush them out first with a little brush. I love eyebrow pencils that come with a brush. Then I'm taking the pencil and this is just the finest, tiniest little crayon. It really reminds me of Benefits Precisely My Brow, which is the brow product that is like my day-to-day -day one. This is really, really similar. And this is in the shade Love Is Blonde. Usually I go a bit darker with my eyebrows, but I think for a natural barely there look I should probably go for a blonde shade because I am blonde and my eyebrows aren't naturally that dark so I'm just going to really lightly fill these in just to define them a little bit more but not too dramatic or severe this is really good I really like this pencil this looks so natural oh my gosh I think they look so natural I swear these are like the most natural my eyebrows have ever looked this was such a good color now I'm going to take the Maybelline brow drama sculpting brow mascara in the shade dark blonde I'm using this as a setting gel and just to add some volume to my brows and also help them stay in place. It just makes the brows look a bit more voluminous, more like hairs and less penciled in. Now, to be honest, when I was at school, I would have probably had to leave it here because it was really hard to get away with wearing mascara at my school. Our principal used to literally come up to us like really, really close and send you to the toilet to take it off if you had it on. But sometimes I did get away with it and not all schools are as strict as that. So I'm going to use the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. I used this recently in my Get Ready With My Teenage Self video because this is the mascara that I used to use when I was younger. And since that video, I can't stop using this mascara. I absolutely love it. You can use it to just enhance your lashes a little bit and put a really tiny bit of product on, which is what we're gonna do today. So I'm just gonna curl my eyelashes and I'm just gonna put like a tiny little thin layer of mascara on just to the ends of my lashes just for the most natural look possible this is actually what i do day to day a lot because i find where i've got fair skin and fair hair mascara doesn't actually suit me that much i've actually been preferring really really minimal mascara recently so if anyone has any good suggestions for mascaras that put a really just minimal amount of product on do let me know in the comments but this is the one that i've been using this in the Clinique Kai Impact. So just make sure you get these little outer corner lashes as well because if you remember to get those, it makes such a difference. So I'm actually just gonna leave it there for mascara because I just think it will look a bit more natural than having bottom lash mascara. Now finally it's time for lips. And again, I would not have gotten away with wearing lipstick at school. Um, I just went around with a lip balm, like a Carmex or something like that and put that on my lips to have like nice glossy lips. But I just thought that would be really, really boring for this makeup tutorial. So if you can't wear lipstick, wear lip balm, but let's go for some lips for the video. I'm going to start by lining my lips with the L'Oreal Lip Liner Couture in the shade beige a new 630 is the number oh my god this is melted it's so hot in here right now Then for my lip colour, I'm taking the Soap & Glory Sexy Mother Pucker in the shade Love & Oh Beige clever and this is just a really pretty neutral nudey beige color just pop this on oh it smells so good it smells like mac lipstick it's like cream eggs if it's school and you absolutely couldn't get away with this lip color just wear a nice lip balm so that's the finished look i love it so so much i just feel like i'm wearing hardly anything on my face but obviously i am it's just really slyly and subtly perfected what i've got without looking too overdone minus the lips i think i could have definitely gotten away with this at school and at Hollister. If you like the video, please do give it a thumbs up for more makeup tutorials. And if you're new to my channel, please do subscribe. I post videos every single Monday. Let me know what videos you would like to see in the future down below in the comment section. And don't forget to follow me on social media. I'll leave all my links down below in the description box. I hope you all have a lovely week. And as always, I will see you next Monday in my video. Bye.